We all know that moving clocks run slow. This is a fundamental uh, reality. This is just how things work. We learn this through Einstein's theory of special relativity, that that duration of events and that lengths change depending on how fast you're going. Different observers throughout the universe will not agree about how long it takes for events to last, how long things are physically. There's no such thing in our universe as a universal master clock, you know, ticking away like you know, I have this um, image of this giant like grandfather style clock with a massive pendulum somewhere out in the universe that's just ticking away a cosmic time like there is no such thing time is relative and the faster you go in space the slower you go in time you trade movement in space for movement in time and vice versa and the faster you go in space the slower you move in time so as you go faster and faster and faster as you get pushed closer and closer and closer to the speed of light the slower you experience time. But, you know, you don't feel any different. If I were to accelerate you close to the speed of light, you wouldn't feel any different. Everything's still the same. You know, food still tastes the same. You can still remember yesterday. Like, everything's the same for you. But to an outside observer, you appear to be going in super slow motion. The faster you move in space, the slower you move in time. And it gets worse the closer you get to the speed of light. So what about light? Does light itself experience time? I mean, from our perspective, it takes time for light to travel from one location to another. It has a speed and there are distances. And you can calculate the travel time. Like it takes light eight minutes to go from the surface of the sun to our eyeballs here on the earth. So the image of the sun that we receive right now is not the sun as it is right now in this instant. It's how the sun looked eight minutes ago. But from the perspective of the light, like if you were riding on that little bit of light, you know, what, how does the universe look to you? Now, I see in the internet, you know, this question pops up a lot in like forums and articles. A very common response, a very common response that sounds pretty cool on the surface is that light doesn't experience time at all. Like light is born and dies in the same instance. Like bah, bah. that light, according to light's perspective, because it, the slower you move in time, the faster you move in space. And if you were traveling at the speed of light, then you don't experience time at all. I'm not exactly comfortable with this. I'm not exactly comfortable with that explanation. And here's why. Our understanding through special relativities, through Einstein's work, of the relationship between time and space, this unified fabric that we call space-time, our understanding of the faster you move in space, the slower you move in time, doesn't apply at the speed of light. It just doesn't apply. It works getting closer and closer and closer to the speed of light. If you're at 99% the speed of light, special relativity holds, all the math works. If you're at 99.9, .9, special relativity holds, all the math works. 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
the laws of physics are universal across reference frames. If, if a law of physics is true in one reference frame, it's true in all reference frames. That is the thread that connects everything. There's no master clock or master ruler, but there is master laws of physics. One of the laws of physics that we've uncovered is Maxwell's equations, which describes light. And in Maxwell's equations, the speed of light is constant. It's a number. This means you will only ever view this, the light to travel at the exact same speed. In a vacuum, of course, you know all the nuances, but in a vacuum, it doesn't matter how fast you're going. It doesn't matter in what direction you're going. You will always, 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 always measure light to move at the speed of light. And this is built into the framework of special relativity. But now we're asking a question, how does light experience time? In order to answer the question, how does light experience time? We have to move into a frame of reference that goes along with a photon. We have to ask, like, if we were to hitch a ride with our little light buddy and look around, like, you know, what are we going to experience? But it's impossible. It's impossible to construct a frame of reference in special relativity that rides along with a beam of light. Because if you're riding along with a beam of light, if you really are hitched up right next to it, you can shake hands with it, you know, ride along, all that good stuff, you are not measuring light to travel at the speed of light, which is in violation of Maxwell's equations. It's in violation of the laws of physics. Laws of physics say you can't ever measure light to go at any other speed. You can't construct, you can't find, it's impossible to ride along with a bit of light. And because it's impossible to ride along with a bit of light, it's impossible to ask how it experiences space and time. Because our entire framework for answering that question, the tools we use to answer the question of how long are the events last, how, you know, is built in special relativity, and that language doesn't apply to light itself. So it's not that light experiences no time while traveling. It's that light doesn't even know what time is, folks. The concept of time as we understand it through special relativity doesn't apply at the speed of light. It just doesn't. And I understand this is like a really weird, mushy, tricky concept of to wrap your head around, but it's just one of those things where you ask like, does light experience time? That's the wrong question to ask folks. That's the wrong question to ask. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can go to my patreon.com slash PM star to keep these shows on the air. You also like and subscribe, turn on notifications. You know the whole YouTube deal by now, but I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.